So, 87. 88, 89, and 90. Five enemies to scan. Hey, uh, did it just suddenly get darker? Is a storm coming or what? I got this. I don't think it's a storm. The air feels different somehow. It's my turn. Sure. My turn. Let's Damn do it. this. I shall go. Search. I got this. I'll sh <laughs> Now! They're mine! My turn. Yeah! It's my turn! Gunner! Chuck! Sure. Huh. <laughs> Done already? Got no time to waste. Toss that on to Earth. All right, we're good. Very well. I got this. Yeah. Save and let's go. What is my formation anyway? Weird. So we're gonna get a long cutscene. Over there. I'm just gonna let it auto. Just as we thought. That's the landing craft in the Pentagon. Damn! Look at all these creepy ass flowers. And over there, just the ladies we thought we'd see. Well, well, well. And Principal Aurelia. Oh, you finally arrived. Hello, Principal. My young horned lions. Looking good in white. Welcome, Thor's Branch Campus's Class 7 Special Operations. My name is Mildine. Mildine Uselith de Cayenne. I am heiress to the Cayenne Duchy and sponsor of the Viceland Army. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance at last. A pleasure. Our acquaintance. Hmm. A new introduction for your new identity, is that it? Oh, Yuna. You'll have to forgive me for hiding the truth from you. Muse was an old nickname of sorts. One my parents gave me before they passed. After the accident, however... Their duchy was inherited by my uncle Croy. No sooner had he taken his seat as the new Duke Cayenne, than I was shipped off to Heimdall, out of sight and out of mind. There, I spent close to a decade as a student at St. Astraea, all the while knowing that my uncle's actions would one day lead to civil war. What? That's impossible. You're saying that as a little kid, you knew there was going to be a civil war? It only made sense. I could see what my uncle would make of House Cayenne's assets. The machinations of the other four great houses and the Reinford group as well. The Empire's relationships with Crossbell and the Republic. The Blood and Iron Chancellor's plots. Excluding supernatural Dad. elements such as the Society and the Divine Knights. All of these factors allowed me to predict that the Noble Alliance would move to suppress the reformist faction by force. How complex. And that it would all lead to Duke Cayenne's to my Uncle Croy's inevitable downfall. If you were anyone else, I'd think that was a bluff. Lady Mildine contacted me right at the close of the Civil War. As an ally of Count Egret, I'd known of her since she was a child. When she predicted every twist and turn of the Northern War, right down to the Empire's proposal, I made up my mind. I would see Lady Mildine as the next head of House Cayenne. Not that sham of a man, Marcus Ballard. <laughs> Though I must admit to this day, I find both her ambition and the accuracy of her predictions intimidating. For instance, 
she sought contact with the Witch of Ouroboros to bolster her list of allies. And by the end of last year, she had foreseen the National Mobilization Law, the war with Calvin, and even the curse overtaking the Empire. Last year? Damn, she's like some kind of monster. No kidding. What's going on? Hmm. Something tells me this isn't clairvoyance. I merely look at the pieces in play and consider how they will interact. No clairvoyance necessary. I see the current state of things, the events that led up to this point, and the multitude of futures spreading out before us. And, most importantly, I see the goal of the one who controls the game board. At the moment, Chancellor Osborne is unmistakably that person. Prince Oliver noticed this as well, and did all he could to stop Osborne's ambitions. But it became clear to me that he never quite understood the extent of the Chancellor's plans. Which is why I started devising some plans of my own. The first was getting the General here to take over as principal of the Thor's branch campus. And the second was claiming the title of Duchess Cayenne and recruiting soldiers to my side behind the scenes. Then, when the Great Twilight broke out, I established the Viceland Army. It is with this very force that I intend to stop Operation Jormungand. Perhaps you could say, they're the dagger I prepared, to strike at the heart of the Serpent. Muse. I'm finally starting to see what Yusis was talking about. I don't quite understand how, but you really do intend to fight them, don't you? The Imperial Army has grown to a massive size with the recent draft. It may very well be the largest force ever assembled. An army of a million strong poised to destroy Calvert. Yet you still plan to stand against them? Yes, that's exactly right. <laughs> Are those women we met earlier another part of your plans? The ones affiliated with the Principality of Remaferia and a certain other country. So you ran into them, did you? Must be fate. But you are correct. We invited them here to discuss their cooperation. I imagine they're secretly conferring with their respective countries as we speak. All right, I'm starting to see what you're after now. Hell of a plan, if you're willing to break a whole bunch of eggs. Even if it goes the way you want, a ton of people are going to lose their lives in the process. True. I estimate it will result in hundreds of thousands of deaths. That's a lot. Though in the worst case scenario, it could be millions. Civilian and soldier alike. So many dead. You're serious about this? I am. At this point, the Imperial Army has gained too much momentum for us to be able to stop it outright. Erebonia was already the greatest military power in Zemiria. And like you said, Conscription has only further increased its strength. That's without even factoring in the Panzer Soldats, railway cannons, and airships. It has the advantage in both numbers and technology. What's more, the Chancellor has Ouroboros at his beck and call. And above all else, there's the Great Twilight itself. Its curse removes any chance that those involved in the conflict could grow weary of war. At this early phase, many are able to resist its influence but that won't last forever. It's only a matter of time until every soul in Erebonia will be able to think of nothing but war. Which is why I presented the other nations an ultimatum. Do nothing and allow themselves to be swallowed up by the Empire, forever stained by its curse. Or join me in one final effort to keep the world from ending. Fighting back, no matter the cost. That's what I told those women you met, and it's what I've told everyone else I've been in contact with. <sighs> Just how many countries have you spoken to? Wait. What? You're telling me you've talked to everyone already? Much like Operation Jormungand itself, my plan is well underway. The bell cannot be unrung. Even if I were to die, the choice to fight or be overtaken would still remain. Now? I'll keep my predictions as to what they will choose to myself, but humans are foolish and prideful, but they tend to show their true colors and their true strength in times of crisis. 
In the end, that will be the deciding factor. Unbelievable. <clears throat> I see you're fully prepared to go through with this. Even having predicted the possible fallout. But, Muse, why join us? Hmm? I can see your resolve. And I get what you're trying to do. But what I don't get is why you joined Class 7. What purpose did that serve? If everything you just told us is true, wouldn't it have been more effective for you to stay behind the scenes? And even if enrolling at the branch campus was part of your plan, you didn't need to transfer to Class 7. Wasn't sticking with us through everything that happened in the Grawl an unnecessary risk? I... <laughs> I only did what would benefit me, naturally. How could I resist the chance to get close to the son of the Chancellor, the Ashen Awakener himself? He seemed like he would have some connection to the curse, so I thought that learning more about him would be advantageous in the long run. Of course, it didn't hurt that Instructor Reen is totally my type. Okay, that mm. part I believe. Yep. But the rest of that explanation was bullshit. Agreed. That sounds like a job for one of your pieces. As a player, it would be safer for you to stay removed from all this. And that includes you talking to us in person right now. <sighs> when I connected with everyone in the Grawl... Keep throwing I feelings at her, guys. So it's gonna work. No matter what you might say now, you couldn't have fabricated that. Your feelings toward all of us are genuine. That's the one thing I can say with absolute certainty. Altina. <laughs> Your poker face is starting to crack, Egret. Still, that little trick of yours is something else. You could really give Osborne a run for his money. And this plan you've come up with is probably the best chance anyone has of shutting down the Empire. But... The question is, can you live with yourself afterward? Yeah, you've thought the plan up, but I'm guessing you sure as hell wish there was another way. A third way. Listen, Muse. You may not think so, but you really are just a regular girl. What? Your friendships with Elise and Alfin, your pride in our class, your major crush on Instructor Reen, they're all part of that. That dirty mind of yours and the way you tease people can be a little annoying, I admit. Still, you're just an ordinary girl who loves sweets, gossip, and all sorts of other regular stuff. Same kind of girl you'd find anywhere. Sure, you may also be a genius who can come up with plans to change the fate of the world, but that's beside the point. There's no way an ordinary girl like you would be okay with a plan that would cost millions of people their lives, is there? <laughs> Aha! Now I see. Got him. You wanted us to hear this plan, but you didn't want to go through with it. Because every idea you came up with called for too great a sacrifice. And you were hoping that with Reen and the others, you would find another way. I... I... <laughs> <laughs> Let me put it another way. What do you really want, Muse? Really? I'm not asking future Duchess Mildine Uselith de whatever. I'm asking Muse Egret, member of Class 7. What do you want to do? She wants Reen. Yuna, I... The truth is... I... I... Well, isn't this a touching sight? Oh dear god. Those uniforms... They're from the main campus. And isn't that... Not to this trash can. Oh, hey! Hey, 
and Major Irving. Crown Prince of the Sewer Rats. And Shirley Orlando. We meet again, Class 7. Don't try to run. We have you surrounded. Ada. Fritz? And... What's going on? It's been some time, Class 7. How convenient to find all of you in one place. Oh. Ah. Former okay. instructor Irving, I wish I could say I was surprised to see you on their side. I take it you've chosen to remain with the military then. Receptive as ever, former Principal Le Guin. I have some plans of my own. I've since taken on the position of field exercise supervisor for the Thor's main campus. For your safety, I would advise you all to come quietly. No. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's good to see you, Kurt. How have you been since the growl? Chat apps. You're seriously working with the Sanguine Ogre. What the shit is she doing in the Thor's what uniform? What the shit? Oh, you like it? I thought I filled it out nicely. I mean, I do like it. Everyone's here. Just like the intelligence division said they would be. The would-be Imperial assassin, Ash Carbide. And all of his Class 7 accomplices. Even Lady Mildeen, suspected instigator of the recent armed uprisings. As a representative of both Thor's and the Imperial family, it is my duty to take you all in. Uh, please go away. Go ahead and try! I'm sorry, but I can't let that happen. What? You think you're hot shit now that you've got some shiny new toys? Probably. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I do. After all, what good is power if you can't exercise it? And right now, you are all powerless to stop me. Really? Especially given that my sniper has a bead on your Rakshasa right now. I'm sure that's no problem for her. Sure, it's Gareth and all, but you know, that's a really we're talking here. The Red Constellation's here too? You're not playing around, huh? This whole thing seems a little petty, but whatever. I'm only here to fulfill His Highness's orders. Between the Jaegers and Major Irving, they've staged a two-pronged offensive. Having to fight my way through both of them and ensure Lady Mildeen's safety might prove a tad bothersome. Just a tad. We've set up a perimeter with the Ark Royale and the RMP's anti-aircraft cannons. Trying to escape aboard your landing craft would be suicide. And don't even try bringing out your Panzer Soldats. That will make no difference. You knew about that, huh? He was our instructor, after all. Be that as it may. Oh, there goes the hair. My friends have shown me a new potential path, and I'm not about to let that slip through my fingers. Do your worst. I, Muse Egret of Class 7, will fight back with everything I've got. Muse. Hell yeah, that's more like it. That's right. This is not where our story ends. Not until we get our instructor back. <sighs> oh, very well. I suppose we'll have to break you before you really understand the position you're in. And we'll do so with the greatest that Thor's Class 1 has to offer. Show us how far you've come. This is Sister seriously Thrall. the best you have to offer? We won't let our history stay our blades. So don't give us anything less than your all. <laughs> Wasn't planning on it, assholes. I hope you're ready, your highness. <laughs> I've been waiting for a chance to cut loose. Brace yourselves. I'm ready. We fight together, everyone. Let's do this, new class seven. Yeah. Here I come. 
Prepare yourselves. You better not disappoint me. I have to hope Shirley doesn't Give it your all. send you herself to the opposite side of the map right off the bat. Not today. Don't give up. Thank you. I don't want music in there. What the hell? How about this? <laughs> Burn! I'll care for you. Thank you. Okay. Let's go. That's perfect, actually. My apologies. Let's move. Go wild! Crazy hunt! It's my turn. I'll shred you to pieces! <laughs> now! They're mine! <laughs> Oh god. They're mine! Go! Oh god. I shall go. Switch. I'm up. Hey, you! First in peace! <laughs> yeah! I got you. It's my turn. I'll leave it to you. Leave it to me. I need well. Sarah suction. You can go as next time like that. Actually, that's fine. Scatter your foe! Light speed flash! Very well. <laughs> Not yet! You got this! I'll handle it. I can have to sack. Scanning them. Real that fire. <laughs> now, take this. It's my turn. Suction. Okay. At least this is where they're close enough to Cedric. My turn. Tag out. Leave it to me. Kurt. Why do you have to be Stop over there, man? Break. My turn. Shall go. Switch. I'm up. Go wild. Crazy hunt. My turn. I think I can actually just go for a nuke. Um. It's probably the safest, best thing I can do. However, that's actually kind of risky with... Uh, I don't want to try it. Let's see. How much HP do you have? I thought to get you to 60,000. I thought to get you to 60,000. Okay. I'm pretty sure... I can at least do... Well, hmm. Thing is, I can't suction again, so that messes up the position if Shirley happens to move. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna do it. Behold, the dual blades of Vander. Now, huh. I'll end it. Ha! Ragna. I got this. I have plenty of turns to work with here. But the issue is, Yuna is probably going to die if I just leave her. So, best course of action, just do this first. This is it! Yeah! One more! I'll finish it! Breaker! Impossible! 
Hit it, Flock. Sure. Yeah, okay, so Ash is not going to kill or get Cedric and Shirley to have. Now, let's dance. So they're gonna get a ton of free turns on me right now. Yuna is almost guaranteed to die. They're probably gonna get a link attack on me, which will probably wipe at least another person. Um probably Kurt. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Yeah. How about this? Oh wow. Um Burn! Why? No. I got this. I'll leave it to you. <laughs> leave it to me. I'm hoping this at least gets Cedric out, or not Cedric, I mean, at least Shirley out. We may have gone a little too far. <coughs> okay, good. I just leave Cedric. <laughs> you guys are pretty good. Ha! 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 Sure. Alright, and I want to make sure you gonna get some EXP, so there you go. Thanks. Very well. And there we go. Now, let's dance. Ha! 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 I ain't done with you yet. <laughs> Sweet dreams. Excellent. You're holding out. No scans, but whatever. Not a big deal. I'll get it next time. <laughs> oh god. We still have a little bit more to go. Woo! <sighs> I can't believe you've improved this much. At the best you got, Thor's main <laughs> campus. Well, you didn't bore me. I'll give you that. <sighs> what did you expect? Hatchlings have to grow up someday, right? Cocky little we hatchling. We to lose now. Not to you, your highness. As a Vander, I swore my swords to your protection. But now that you've lost your way, I need to protect you from yourself. <laughs> Kurt. <laughs> Fine. Let's see how those swords of yours fare against this. To me, Testarossa! Oh, come on. Only a coward move. Freaking coward. <laughs> now, are you ready for the real battle? Can't wait to embarrass you so with some Panzer Soldats. A thousand weapons. Your Highness! This is outside the scope of our operation. Seriously? You're whipping it out now? I swear, a little excitement and off you go. Allie, now! Black Shade, release! <laughs> Phew. 
you really think that such puny machines stand a chance against the divine knight? I mean, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I hate to break it to you, man. What the heck is that? Damn. Thousand weapons is right. Uh, it looks more like it's seven to me. It's the Vermilion Apocalypse's power inside it. <sighs> if only we had a Spiegel. <laughs> Funny you should say that. Spiegel. But how? I just so happened to stumble upon it at Rock Patio. Hey, how convenient. And quietly delivered it to the others for this very contingency. You guys. Looks like it got there okay. Your timing was perfect, Muse. Sandy helped us finish up the repairs. Give them help for us, Kurt. Right. Of course. You really do plan for everything, don't you? Now we can turn the tide! <laughs> so you've got one more piece of junk. What good will that do? You're about to find out! Here we go! Cool. Now then, who shall I destroy first? It's a 50%. Right. <laughs> Let's get up there, mine! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh god. I'm getting flashbacks to Cedric's constant nutty. In the Japanese version, that made this far more interesting. Saying what is not that cool. I got this. <laughs> it's down. It's mine. Constant loud noises. Here I go. Wide open, they're mine. What? There they my turn. There, it's mine. My turn. It's down! It's mine! What? They're mine! I shall go. Hey, Gigerbs. What's going on, man? Yeah! What? What? Not I. Very well. Nope, wrong one. I meant to do the arms. Here I go! Wide open, they're mine! I got this. Oh, shoot. Damn it. Really? I'm too short? Oh. Well. You're mine! What? Yes! My turn. Uh, there. At once. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's mine. What? what? Mr. Blade. What? They're mine. It's quite painful, yeah. sir. You can't escape. Wide open! They're mine! They're mine! Oh, I think 
thinking one more would probably do something My that turn. kind of hurts. You're mine! What? Ow. Or not. Okay. We're good. What? Wide open, they're mine! What? My turn. What? There! It's mine! What? What? Sure. What? Yeah! Bam. Nice, there you go. Why are you resisting? Someday. Sigoy. Was that enough? No, it's not over yet. This is absurd. How could mere pens or soul dots do this? You just suck, man. Come just admit on, it. Princey boy. You can do better than that. You do know how much stronger your machine is than theirs, right? Oh, You're bringing shame to the Testarossa name. You're so pathetic, I can feel my weapon cringing at you. Surely. Oh, God. Surely, now's really not the time. And please don't call me Princey Boy. All right, Whatever Princey you say, Boy. Your Highness. Ada, Fritz, everyone into the soul dots. Excuse me? They only have three. We'll bring them down through sheer numbers. They only have three, so we'll outnumber them with four. That'll do the trick. Your Highness. That's going too far. Are you questioning your prince's orders? The Red Constellation, then! What are you waiting for? Capture them! Your Highness! Everyone just sits and stares. <laughs> I don't think so. Old class seven? Hey, people! You made it! Nice work. Are all of you okay? We managed to pinpoint the singularity, so we came to help. Forgive the impropriety, your highness. However, we cannot let your unchivalrous behavior go unchallenged. That's right. We will not stand idle while our fellow class seven members are in danger. How did they manage to break through the RMP's perimeter? Magic. <sighs> I'll admit their timing's good, but... <laughs> I've said it before and I'll say it again. This makes no difference. Bring everyone you like. It won't change. <laughs> Are you quite sure about that? Well, 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 look who we have here. We 
thought it was just us. We had this giant ship here the whole time. What? Ooh la la! Isn't that... It was here this whole time? The Pantagruel! Impossible! Where did it come from? That was some truly impressive cloaking. Well done, Miss Witch. You ask the impossible, and I deliver. Hello, Your Highness. You've gotten taller since we last met. Major, Ogre, how have you been? Our side's ready to fight at any time. Are you? <laughs> Wind guy number two. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> That's one way to turn the tables! Prince Cedric. I hate to admit this, but we don't have the power to deal with their forces as it stands. I suggest we make a strategic retreat. Damn, now Cedric's gonna cry in his sleep Major. tonight. Send word to all main campus students. Kurt, Class 7, crew of the Pantagruel. This round goes to you. But I will not allow this insult to go unavenged. I promise you that. Main campus students, withdraw! Y yes, yes, sir! sir. That means us too, Gareth. Right. Thor's main campus students and the Red Constellation retreated. Once everyone had calmed down, Musa and Veda began to talk things through. Look at this. Happy reunion. <laughs> These Class 7 reunions are never uneventful. Still, it's good to see you all again. Right back at you, Brigadier General, and thank you for saving us. You know, Egret, I thought it was weird you had one person with you, even if it was the Rakshasa. But damn, keeping the ship right above our heads the whole time? That's a hell of a move. All of Vita's idea, and it worked out in the end, right? Don't be so modest. You're the one who timed out, timed things out and gave the command after all. I didn't even realize you two knew each other. He reached out after the incident at the Infernal Castle. Since then, her sponsorship has been of great help to us. In turn, Vina has been supporting my plans and teaching me a little magic. Just a little. Well, that's worrisome. But my concerns aside, it really is nice to see you, Vita. Finally got rid of those silly glasses, did you? You must be serious. That's right. If I'm going to rescue Reen and Selene, I don't have time to hide who I am. It would appear you are the same as ever, Vida. Grandmother. Hello, Grandmother. Calling from Aaron, I take it. Correct. It simply took me a while to get a grasp on the spirit veins over there. Emma's not the only one with grievances to air, Vida, but we have more pressing matters to attend to. Wouldn't you lot agree? Yes. Oh yeah, right. Does that mean there's a singularity here after all? The profusion of Pleroma grass should be proof enough. Hurry and drive the stake into it. <laughs> I 
that'd actually be really interesting if costumes had specific bonuses to them. Probably not statistically, but like other stuff to them. That makes five now, together with the ones we find in Norsha and Nord. We've just got two more left then. Rescuing our instructor is finally starting to feel like reality. Oh, I see. Yes, this should allow you to pin down the workshop's location. You all really are amazing. Even with the odds stacked against you, you've still found a sliver of hope to hold on to. Hey, don't act like you're not a part of this. Yeah, Muse. Remember what you told us earlier? And your plans are set up so they carry on without you overseeing them personally, right? Come with us. We'll get Instructor Reen back together. But I... Hmm... You've got the Golden Rock Shasa already. That's enough of a symbol to rally your troops behind. No kidding. And isn't this the perfect chance to make Schwarzer owe us one for life? Although I'm not sure that will ever balance out everything he's done for us. It's your choice, Muse. We can still rescue him without you. It is most likely the one who rescues him first will see the most gratitude. I would have thought this would have been more appealing to you, but I suppose it does not matter. You won't be first either way. Those are some fighting words, Altina. <laughs> They're very skilled in pushing your buttons. Well, when you put it like that, how can I not come along? Then I, Muse Egret, will happily return to Class 7. Thank you, all of you, for helping me find my way back. Woohoo! Muse left Aurelia and the rest in charge of the Weisland army and the Pantagruel. After bidding farewell to Maya and the others, Class 7 returned to Aaron Village via the Spirit Path. No one ever likes to wave back from Class 7. <laughs> Always you and I, maybe like one or two people. No one else likes to wave. The two had gone to investigate in Heimdall had also returned to Eren. Members of Class 7 celebrated Muse's return, as well as their discovery of the Singularity. Once that had settled on the village, the new Class 7 headed off to a certain location at Yuna's suggestion. E hot spring time. She's still wearing a hat. Though I do find it a bit embarrassing mingling with a gentleman like this. The feeling's mutual. Relax. I prefer my chicks fully grown. Ain't exactly getting a response here. What kind of response would that be, huh? Sheesh, and since when are you the bashful type, Muse? If anything, I'd expect her to have her ba bathed with Instructor Reen already. Didn't. Oh, I'm only joking. We have them bathed together. But, well... Cannon. Muse. Damn, you really got that numbskull Schwarzer to go along with one of your little games? That's actually pretty impressive. 
I can only assume he was pushed into a position where he couldn't possibly refuse. Speaking of the instructor, I'm worried about, worried about him. Not to mention the fate of the branch campus. Oh, you mean all that stuff Principal Le Guin told us? Who'd have thought the main campus would turn our school into one of their bases? The Weissland Army's intel is nothing short of reliable. It appears that the Arc Royale has been all over the place, with both the Sanguine Ogre and the main campus instructors in tow. Figured as much. Sounds like the government's got them all, all right under its thumb. And we still have no idea where Mint, Linda, and Instructor Toa are. Toa! Not even the Weissland army has managed to get a hold of any information about them. We are similarly in the dark about what Elise and the Princess might be up to. I imagine the General will be in contact should she discover anything. That makes me wonder if T Tita and Tito are okay too. Not to mention Louise and Jessica. I'm sure they're safe, just like Pablo, Sidney, and the others, the others were. We'll see them again. For now, we just have to trust in everyone's abilities. A lot of them are tougher than I gave them credit for. Hell, even Tatiana's come a long way. Oh? You don't say. You're damn right I didn't. <laughs> well, if we gotta believe in everyone, that includes believing in ourselves too. We did manage to get all of New Class 7 back together after all, even if it did take some doing. Yes, all that remains is to get our instructor back. It will take the combined efforts of all of us, Class 7, new and old. Can't ignore the obligations my own plans demand. But I still intend to play my part as a member of Class 7 to the fullest of my ability. Well, I ain't gonna let being a wanted man slow me down none. We don't need Schwarzer's help to knock some heads together. Right, we may not have our instructor by our side, but we can still make good use of what we've learned from him. He'd expect nothing less of us. You said it. Let's make it happen. And... Oh, still it. Another cutscene. That funny. Schwarzer! Looks like you went up a rank. And the verdict is... <sighs> okay. Got everything. We're on track. Here's a little treat. On me. Nice work, troops. I know it ain't easy. 